Hello and welcome. I'm MJ Haggis and we're playing Snowrunner in the modded map region of Highway Holland, the region. Now, he's just gone back to sleep. Do you see that? Oh, so lazy. Anyway, we're back in the Voron Grad for a bit of a more normal job today. We're going to do the dock replacement. We activated it in the last episode and I thought it might be quite nice to do. And it gives us a chance to get in for some wooden planks and cement. Two things we have not yet loaded. So I've already got my six slot trailer. Got my crane just in case. Shouldn't need it though. But this is quite handy because both pickup points are right here anyway. You can see the two up arrows in the distance. I'll show you in the map. We are in Manchester. I'm at the trailer store and this is the pickup point for the bricks, cement and wooden planks, long planks, medium planks. Still looks like we're not going to get any joy with the medium logs and short logs. That does appear to potentially be glitched out. Not much we can do. But, to be honest, we have got so many other jobs we can do, it's not going to be an issue. And hopefully Season 10 will be not too far away and we'll be jumping straight to that as soon as it's available. So, let's go back to the truck. He's wide awake again. That was a quick power nap. Right, we are good to go. In the right gear. Right, let's go and do it. A while since we've been in a more normal sized truck so this is quite nice no zicks and no colobs or any of that kind of hugeness right let's take it nice and wide so we can get straight back out again for the cement there we go nice and easy two of them please thank you um, is it worth it? It doesn't matter really which way we're going. Plenty of room to turn. Oh, oh. Oops. Slow steering. Yeah, it's a dent. Sometimes you wonder if putting the, like, the alternative bumpers on makes any difference. Or would that... 20 damage would have actually been nearer 40 or something. Don't know, and it's kind of hard to test. There we go. Wooden planks, please. There we go. There's a lot in storage. Right, we are full to the brim. And all we're going to do now is head right back down to the docks, which is quite nice. Not too far. Might allow us to get our big fancy yacht in the in the water now. That we don't yet have. And can't sail. Minor technicalities. Easy down the hill. There we go. We ah, we're not going far. We're not. We'll not need fuel. And plus, this trailer does carry some spare. us at full speed <clears throat> not going to win too many races but it's comfortable for me yeah very nice nicely detailed load I do like doing these sort of things they have got a lot of detail I mean look at the ends of the wood I don't go into the end of the road, which I have done. Oh, that sign was having a go at me there. Look, oh, get off. Right, 
I am actually going down the correct side of the highway this time. Plenty of room for that trailer now to swing about like it's on ice. Boys start going short. No, it's kind of behaving. It's not too bad. Still amazed at the attention to detail that Remo has put into this map, considering you're not even down here. But he's put the time in to put little yachts and docks and little boats out of the water. That's just amazing. I'm actually quite curious to know what map he's going to be bringing out next. So I need to start watching more of his videos and uh, get up to speed and see what his next big project's going to be. So I will definitely be having a look at that. Nice and easy around this corner. No bother stopping since the barrier's up. And we go. We to get turned after we drop this off. Which way will we go? Might as well go through the water there and round. Okay. Right, let's get into this lot. Oh, and I can't see. That's nice. Didn't expect that. Oh. -ho. That's clever. We didn't bring any of the concrete slabs down. Nice! That's dock replacement done. That was as easy as it gets. This is just in time. Now that the weather's nice, people want to get out and use this place again. Yes, indeed they do. 6,500 cash, 750 XP. Nah. Uh, okay, it's maybe not the, the best pier we've ever made. But it'll do the job. Yeah, so let's just keep going backwards. Try and get turned in that area over here. Too bad. Now the question is, what do we do next? It certainly cannot be stocking the wood pile. That's no longer an option at the moment. Well, what I'll do with this truck and trail is I'll just park it up here at the beginning of the highway. I do you know what? Let's just go in to this fuel station. We've not ever been in here yet. Not that I can remember anyway. No, we've not been in here. Uh, okay. Pop it up. Thank you. Paint. Stone Creek Food Mart and Grishel Gas Company. Okay, I've got to get turned, but this is where this guy's going to get left. There'll be a jackknife around the corner, I think.
over there. Stick him on the verge here, and we'll go and find something else to do. Plenty of room for other vehicles to get in and out. Engine off. Right. I'll hunt for a new task. Unfortunately, again, I won't have much time in this episode, so it'll be another shortish one, depending on how it goes. If I crash, it'll go and turn into a two-parter, probably. But I'll be back in a sec. Okay, it's morning time in Bennington. As you can see, we're back in the juggernaut with the BM on the back. We're going to do sending clear signals. Now, this is service pair apart, six of them through into the ice roads. And rather than digging out another truck and then getting another trailer, I'm going to remove the BM from the back of this and we're going to use this eight slot trailer and take that over the ice. I have not had the juggernaut over the ice. I've normally used an eight by eight. So this will be a little bit more interesting to see how the front copes with going over the ice when it breaks. So that's the plan. So we need to get rid of this BM. So let's first of all start this guy up, I suppose. We'll unpack him. And chain... No, we need to get ramps down. Now I had problems before with the ramps. I had to press number four, then number five. And that works. Curious combo, but it works is the main thing. Right, let's change... Start him up. Keep the reverse and get him off the back. Oh, I haven't attached the trailer. I'm pushing him. That's better. Nice and easy. Hardest part's now. I'm going to have to get that eight slot trailer turned. This guy off the road. That'll do nicely. Just how I wanted it. Right, stop the engine. Can I change the other one? No, still can't reach. Because we're picking up these parts from back there. Oh man, that's a big old trailer to turn. May have to reverse. Oh, that'll test my skills. Oh, my ramps are down. Turn up to that. That'll rub them out. Eh. That's better. Being a professional and all that. I hadn't quite planned on reversing the whole way, so I might just reverse past the junction and go in. Question is, can we get back out again? I can't remember how much room we've got for an eight slot trailer. But we are about to find out. Can we make it around the trees? Oh, just. Right, plenty of two, plenty of room to reverse around that corner, so that's fine. I like it. Right, let's load me up with service for all of them. Service, yeah. Six is all we need. I had a great comment left by Daniel in regards to the pivoting point of this kind of trailer with the multiple axles. And correctly, like he said, it's all down to the, the traction or the stiction of the axles or the tyres, depending on what you're driving on. And if you're going up any gradients, might lift the front ones slightly off the ground, which in case the back ones will gain more traction and it'll pivot more towards the rear. Or vice versa, if you're going down the hill, the back ones might lift off the ground slightly and the front ones will take all the strain. So yeah. But the downside, because none of them are steering, is you're going to wear out the tread on them pretty quick. Nice and wide. You're going to have to keep a fair amount of spare tyres ready for those sort of 
jobs. Unless you're going down nice, easy, no sharp corners like what I'm about to do here. But if it's just lots of highway jobs, where you're, you're hardly turning the trailer at all, then you'd, you'd probably be fine. Right, off you go. Bye bye, Royal BM. We have quite the drive ahead of us. In the rain, apparently. Nothing to really be gained from doing this contract. There's no warehouse opening. It's just one of those jobs. Then the list. And we haven't done service spare parts from that pickup point, so why not? And we had the trucks nearby. It's starting to go. Oh no, it's starting to go. <laughs> I thought it started to grip again, but it hadn't. Put that one down to the, the rain on the roads making it even more slippy. This should be fairly straightforward. I might have to do a wee speedy up part, I think, just as we head through to the ice roads again. Now the question is, which is the best route from here? Let's hold fire before we commit. Right, can't go in there. We've got to go down to that junction there, and then we... I've, I've just realised, would it have been better to go to Manchester? No, we're going down. Where are we going from here? Ice roads, we need to go to Manchester, yeah. Oops. That means I could have... I could have gone through. Where's the, the smaller of that gateway? Here. Uh, to be honest, I think I would have rather come through the highway one. Anyway, yeah, okay, we're heading for the highway one, that's fine. So from here, down to that one, all the way past the garage, maybe pick up some fuel on route and through to Manchester. Right, and from Manchester, it's all the way through the highway and into the ice roads. So, I'm thinking, do we... I'm just going to do a jump cut because it's just highway and asphalt driving, you know, nothing major and certainly nothing to concern ourselves with with this trailer for the majority of it, so I'll do a jump cut so we can get into the ice roads and get to the dropping off, that will be much more interesting so, and hopefully the rain will go off right, back in a sec Right, here we are in the ice roads. I've just come through the gateway. I haven't even started the engine, but we will do shortly or it'll get cold. But we're going to head north all the way around their usual spots. Question is, these one spot... Oh, oh I can't click on it. One here. One here. And one away down in this corner. Oh, okay. Which ones do we do first? Maybe... Two to that one. We'll be coming off there and off there. Hey, where else? Come back down. Try and get across the ice to drop off that one then. So let's put one up there, one down there. And then we'll try and get across the ice somewhere like that. And then it's just down the road. <laughs> I say just down the road. But we've got to get all the way to there and then get back fun and games right let's go I'd like to think we've got the right 
truck or one of the many right trucks for the job. Possibly the wrong trailer. But it adds a little bit more of a challenge. I am all for the challenge. Hold on a sec. Urgh, there's a sliding stop. Could we get down to onto the ice and cut across? We've done it before. Why don't we give it a go? Can't believe I'm even saying that. Right, we're gonna try and get to there, then to there. I did see a gap in the trees there. Right about there. All right, fingers crossed. This could be crazy, but this might turn out to be not crazy. Question is, can we get down there? That trailer is going to be right in the air. Come on, down you come. That realism kind of went out the window. Yeah, but it didn't slow us down. Right, okay, that's awesome. Right, let's go follow the ice. That saved a good bit of time. We'll just skirt around the edge of the trees like we did before. So nice of Remo to give us ice we can actually drive on. Now I've got no problems with the the amount of axles in the back of that trailer for getting across the ice when it starts to break. No problems at all with that. It's more just the very front axle of the truck. And I'm just going to leave all wheel drive on. No point in turning it off because I'll just probably aggravate the situation. We need the front ones pulling us over the ice. Where's the junction for that? Is there a junction for this? Hold on a sec, have I gone past the junction? Oh, there's no junction. We're just going to create straight across. The junction's over there, right? That's fine. Okay. Let's make our own road. That's going to break, isn't it? Okay, back towards the trees before we get too carried away. Oh yeah, that's definitely breaking up. This looks a little bit better. What's good with this trailer, it doesn't have that bit at the back of the one that we did it before. It had a, like, where the, not a mudguard as such. Ooh, that could be breaking. But it had a, like, a sheet of metal across the back. Maybe it had the lights. Well, it probably would have been the lights and the number plate and stuff. It was digging into every bit of snow it could find and slowing us down.
These tyres are really good in this snow. I did not expect them to be quite so good. Is this the first bit of the broken stuff? Kind of. This is definitely the broken stuff. Oh, aye, aye. Front end did drop in, but it kind of climbs back out. Having such a high chassis over the axe or the diff, doesn't seem to be making much difference. Oh, this is an awesome truck. That's well impressive, considering he was quite far into the broken stuff there. We're going to get back again, but I'm, I'm way more confident now. We're going in there. I think we still have to go all the way around where we found that truck. There's our neglected little scout fuel trailer. Never been needed. We cut in through the trees there. Hey, where are we actually going in this place? Oh no, that's not that's where we've got the truck, so we are needing to go in. Okay, time to go cross country. There might be a better route in, to be honest, but that's the only gap in the trees. Oh, okay. I need to take that at a slightly different angle. Nice and wide. We'll get, get up and over that little mound. We'll catch on the trees, please. Over the stones. Or what? Oh, well, it's the legs of the trailer. Come on, round you go. You can do this. In suspension. Just a little bit more room. Oh, that made all the difference, to be honest. Where are we going? In here. Gotta get back out again. Okay, getting out could be interesting because there's no clear way in or out. Hmm, okay. Let's get rid of two though. The back, okay. What do you reckon? Maybe off that way? Kind of through there. I'm, I was thinking more this way. What? What's that leading us through? Out there? That way there. It does look a little bit dodgy, but if we go down through these rocks here, and then cut that way, I think it might be better. Let's have a look. OK, 
can take it nice and wide so that trailer support legs don't get caught. They probably will. Ah, that's not so good. Not so good. Tactically place rocks by Remo. Awesome job. Right. Um, can we get across? It's a big trailer to try and pull through here. Especially when it gets caught in trees. I might have to go back out the same way I came in. The other option, now that I'm on a full jackknife, is to go over the rocks and out. I'm looking where the, see if the trailer can get pushed through those trees and go back out the same way. Kind of digging myself a hole, because going over these rocks, they're pretty tall. Yeah, that's, that's just... See if I can go into those trees. Need to be snug up against that or right there. Not too close to the building, please. Or am I hitting at an invisible hitbox? That's what that feels like. Was. Okay. I'm in, I'm in the mast, right back out. Oh, sorry. I think I was back in the mast with a tree. Over we go. Uh, let's have a wee look for a winch point. Nothing there. Okay, guess it's. Brute force and lots of ignorance. It's it's trying. And we're out. So if I can do it, almost certainly you guys can do it. Especially with a more appropriate trailer. Get rid of that waypoint because we're not going to need that anymore. So, down to the main road, and then we've got to try and go straight across. It's either that or we follow this road down and try and cut in. And then it's just try and go. You know what? These are well placed drop off points because there's no easy way. And I don't know what the ice is like here or even access up onto the road. Might be okay. Might be okay. I'm looking about this spot here, up onto the road, but I'm guessing there's a road round, and then in. And then it's a case of back along this. It will be a road in the summer months, and the ice is all gone. Back onto that one, and then when we get to there, it's just nip across the ice. What do you reckon? Hmm. Okay, let's get rid of all of the waypoints. I'm going to go there, down to that one, and then we're going to roughly head for there, either coming off at this point if it looks okay, or at this point afterward. The evening is coming in fast. There's all my broken ice. I'm going to have to pick the other side this time to try and avoid it. That 
Looks like it, yep. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's only, he almost managed to make a cross in high ratio. Again, I reckon an 8 by 8 is still probably the weapon of choice for that kind of ice. absolutely no problem whatsoever. I'll be in for a cold evening on the ice, I think. Stuff to break. Oh, look at that. It's powers his way across. Dropping it into low ratio seems to lift it back out again, so I'm, it's quite easy. My fear of ice in this region is diminishing to zero. However, I'll definitely not be going in a rush back to Amandra. Oh, breaking star. Oh, night time is settling fast. Let's get to the good ground and we'll get it round to the morning. Awesome headlights though. Right, I think we're up on good ground. We're cutting across to there. Let's get it morning time. Oh, half past nine. That's later than I expected. And I'd imagine it will get bright quite quickly. Question is, I need to go back to the map. Do we cut across? Does that ice look strong? Doesn't look bad. When we cut across this way from that watchtower in the distance, I think we can. We'll just head down the bottom of the land part. Ooh, I thought I was going to suddenly dip below the ice there. Keep going. I really hope this was the right decision to come this way. A long way to go back. Can we get across that little bit of ice with a huge trailer? That actually looks really steep. That's my next problem. Are we going to be able to get up there? Can't quite get into high ratio yet. Oh, I can. Oh no. This is nasty stuff. Okay, back it out. <laughs> uh oh. Uh-oh, we could be in a little spot of bother. That's the nasty stuff, but we're not falling deep through it. It's just like super snow.
bring in the, the zigzag steering, try and get a little bit of grip. Come on. And not a single tree to be seen where we need them. Go on, Juggernaut, you can do this. You can get back out. Only reverse had slower gears, but like, doesn't really. It kind of does. You you can slit as you can see my mouse below the A for automatic. I've set the gears using the shift button, so you kind of got in between. Oh, we're out. Right. Okay. Got that fully into reverse. Okay, that was not good. Let's let's follow the ice a little bit more. Head for the trees, if anything. This is the last dodgy bit here. Go on, can we do it? Oh yes. Um, now that's off his seat. <laughs> yeah, man, we could probably do it. So we are here. Uh, okay. Let's let's go down to where my waypoint is. Need the lights? No. Go on, Juggernaut. Hey! I oh, like a boss. And we are on the road. That saved a bit of time, even with my reversing out. Where's the drop off? In there. How do I get in there? There's a road further up and round? It must be. I was looking to see if I could like squeeze through the trees again, but... They're just at awkward angles for the big trailer. Look at those rocks. Oh, man. How do we get in there? That's not a junction down at all. Oh, no, that's just in the middle of nowhere. They've just put it up in the middle of the trees. No roadway in. How rude! Okay, I'm going to have to reverse it back down the hill. Windy drop. Stay on the road trailer. We are having to go in there. Not ideal. Remote was in his troll mode. I'm gonna squeeze between the trees. Oh, we've got a tree right in the middle of the trailer somehow. 
I think it glitched through. I'm so pleased we're in, but it's getting back out again now. Yeah, absolutely no roadways in to here. Helicopter? Right, there goes that one. Let's back it out. Maybe. I'm going straight across the road, I think. There's a gap in the trees over there. It was easier getting out than it was in, in reverse. And we're off. Come on. It's gonna have to do some rock climbing. Up you get. Lots of rock climbing. Love how the axles go over the rocks on, the, on this juggernaut. Really nice. I'm glad I left the suspension raised as well. Okay, we're good. We are on our way. There was me thinking this was going to be a shorter episode, but it turns out it's not going to be that short. Where is our next drop-off? Don't need to worry about fuel, really. Still got 521 litres, plus what's in the roof. And we have got the fuel trailer that's up ahead. And there was me thinking I wouldn't be back down this way. Got that wrong. Don't even need all wheel drive for this kind of train. Superb, really like it. Again, is is I don't feel that this truck is too overpowered because he's tall and slim. If you get him on a bank, you've got a good chance you'll tip him over still. And it, I haven't put the monster. I can't remember if I was even given the option with the big monster, the quasi tires, which are super fat balloons. Uh, I'm turning right here. Before I do so, I, I'm guessing there's no way through the trees here, down and across. So we're going to have to come in from the road. But if we do come in from the road, we've still got to try and negotiate some of these trees. Ain't going to be easy. I think we head for there. Once we get to bit there on the road. Against the tree. Excellent. 
This has been a fun challenge. I enjoy the negotiating the trees and that kind of light. You've got to think about where you're going to go. This would be easy if you just had a two slot trailer or even a, the two slot add on and just crane them straight onto the back and just go in with the, the truck only, no trailer. So maybe if you did this task with a two slot add on and a four slot dolly trailer, it could be a possibility if your reversing is good. Or you've got a mod trailer with a dolly lock, makes reversing a whole lot easier. This feels a bit slidey. On round you go. Right, last bit of ice, and then it's just the return back to the garage and trailer store. Looking at the wee island to see where's a decent way in, because that's quite steep as well. It wasn't really obvious from the map. Oh man, okay. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to cut across, but that looks, whoa, we're on the broken stuff. This all looks dodgy. Very dodgy. Come so far, I don't want to get bogged down in the snow now. I'm just kind of thinking straight up that banking there. Can we do it? Hmm. That looks like it won't break though. Right, question is, do we go through that tree and knock it down? There's no clues here. Or is it up through the gap there? Let's take the low road. That tree flattens, we'll be okay. Need a bit of power. Go, go, go. Yes. Okay, that was just foot to the floor. Let's stick the nose in. There we go. We're in. Yay. Didn't think I'd get a cutscene. You're welcome. Right, it says that was for sending clear signals. And I can't remember the last time I made it out to those. Antennas, probably last time the mine was up and running, no doubt. 8,500 cash, 1,200 XP. Job done. Yeah, how'd you get in here? What's the easiest route? There's a gap in the trees right there, and you can come straight in. Or you can take the steep route, and you will get up and over. There's a few options, I think. I'm just going to reverse straight, hopefully, back down here, in between the trees. Is the route I'm going. Yeah, a tree Okay, it's going to be a tree. Get out the tree. Get out the tree. Oh, he's, oh, he's in the tree, but now he's out.
Even the little pesky tree here at my cab is causing me problems. Right, release the winch. Um, that one there. Pull me around, hopefully. Oh, what's happened here? Reverse. Now I need to negotiate that tree and we should be out. Yes! Okay, before I venture too far out in the ice, that is going to be the episode. Another double episode, no, a double contract, pretty successful. We are going to go up, boy. Uh, I may head up here and back onto the ice. By the way, I'm going back to the garage and the trailer store with this guy and should be a piece of cake considering what he's just been through. Good job. What's his horn like? Oh, that's a deep, nasty horn. You wouldn't want to miss that one. Sorry, birds. Right, okay. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Really appreciate it. See me again soon. Bye for now.